Training camp is officially underway for the Cardinals. The most significant change from this time last year, quarterback Kyler Murray is out on the field. From State Farm Stadium alongside Paul Calvisi, I'm Danny Sarek. This is Camp Credentials. This time last year, Kyler Murray was watching practice in sweats, rehabbing his knee. This time around, Paul, he is leading the charge. His energy is palpable amongst his teammates and the coaching staff. How does Kyler Murray's presence elevate the standards of this team? You know, it is amazing. It's his teammates' energy as well because no QB, no chance in the NFL. It's just that stark, the reality. So when you know you have a franchise quarterback, when you know that just a few years ago he was an MVP candidate, that he's been to two Pro Bowls and always had the entirety of the offseason, and now he's the trigger man, you're going nowhere without a quarterback in the NFL. And when you have Kyler in his sixth season, and he still has some of the best athleticism of any QB in the game, plus now he has the mental ability and the experience and then the team leadership that we saw throughout the offseason, Danny, uh, he's been checking every box. That leadership, including flying out his teammates to, to workouts across the country, making sure that they're not missing a beat, even when there is no organized team practice. Part of that leadership has also been working with his offensive coordinator, Drew Petzing. When Murray made his return last season, it was in the middle of the season, so any adjustments were also being made midweek when they're having to prepare for an opponent. Now that Murray has had an entire offseason to find tune this offensive scheme with Petsing, what improvements can that provide? You know, I think the main thing is that Kyler's been able to share with Drew what sort of scheme he wants. For example, he said he always wanted to be under center, that it helps keep the defense on its heels. We saw that last year, and we saw him get better at being under center, carrying out the play action fake, freezing those linebackers. It's all you need is that half a yard, right? Just that one moment. And it's really a balanced, complete offense. Kyler, at his best is keeping a defense on its heels and I think ideally that's where the Cardinals are aiming with this scheme. This is an offense that will continue to run the ball finished with a top 10 run game last season looking at the other weapons besides just running back James Conner in the backfield drafting wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. moving offensive lineman Paris Johnson Jr. from the right to the left side now is Kyler Murray's blindside protection year six for the franchise quarterback how is he poised to take an impressive step in his career this year. Yeah, think about it. You had a top five run game a year ago, and you're better in the run game. You had a tip Ryman blocking tight end, a one, two, three punch now. It's James Conner, Trey Benson, Michael Carter. And then all of a sudden, what can wide receiver one do for you and your offense? It is amazing what the passing game, elevating that beyond just Trey McBride, can do for this offense as a whole. When Murray made his return last season, every stat across the board, this offense improved. The standards and expectations are high for that the entire 2024 season. Be sure to stay locked in on azcardinals.com all training camp for more camp credentials, articles, podcasts, and much more. For Paul Calvisi, I'm Danny Strack. Thanks so much for tuning in to Camp Credentials.